Hello and welcome back to another video which is all about the product category management. Product category management actually helps you to organize products and manage those product categories for your business in a very effective way. The product category management is actually a very significant feature for inventory operations as well as the business operations. And in Odo 16, it's very easy to configure the product categories. You can find it inside the inventory module. So once you open the inventory module and you go to the configuration section, there you have the product categories. Okay. So under the product section, you have product categories. There you can see all the predefined categories. And if you want to create a new one, you can go there and create one very easy. You might have seen categories like all saleable, all rental and so on. So let's move on to the module and see how to configure this product categories in the inventory module of Odo 16. You can find this product category inside the configuration menu of sales, purchase and inventory. Okay. So today we'll see that inside the purchase module. So I'm opening the purchase module here. Okay. So let's go to the configuration and under configuration, we have the product categories. Click on that. You can see all the pre-configured product categories. Let's create a new one. Click on create button. Provide the name of the category. So I'm giving the name as book. And you, you have an option to choose a parent category for the category which you've created right now. So I'll put all saleable. And if you have any tax category or tax cloud category, you can choose it from here. And here you have the logistics, which is the uh, force removal strategy. So here you can see routes. So uh, you, you can't see routes every time inside the product category. For you all to view the routes, you have to enable the multi-step routes inside the configuration. That is, you have to go to the uh, inventory and there you have the configuration settings. Inside the settings, you have to enable the multi-step routes. So I'll show it to you. Now before that, we have the forced removal strategy. That is how the products have to be re removed. Okay, so you have FIFO, LIFO, closest location and also FEFO, which is first expiry, first out, first in, first out and also you have last in, first out. For, so the, uh, for the time being, I will choose FIFO. Here you have the costing method. You have three types of costing methods, which are standard price, FIFO and AVCO, which is average costing. And also you have the inventory valuation. You have two types of valuation, manual and automated. So if you choose automated, you can see a new category has come, which is account stock properties. Here you have to mention all the stock related account details like the valuation account, journal, input and output account. Here you have the account properties where you can mention the income account and also the expense account. Okay. Now inside this, you can see two smart tabs. You can see the put away roles regarding this category and also the products which comes under this category. So I'm saving it. If you want to create a product or view the product inside this category, you can just click on the smart tab. You can also create it by clicking on the smart tab. Here you have the create button. So from here, if you just click, you'll get the creation form. Okay. So the thing is that here you can see the product category as all saleable book. So once you open it inside the product category, that is once you open the product creation form inside that product category, the category from which we opened that category will come here by default. Okay. So I'll show you the difference going back here. We have the products clicking on the products and create. So if you create from here, you can see the product categories by default all. So from here, you can choose it all saleable okay so let's go back to the configuration product category okay so here you have the all saleable book products and i'm creating a new one so i choose a product name the older book okay here I am changing the product type to storable product. Invoicing policy, I'm keeping it as ordered quantity itself. Setting a sales price. Also the cost. Okay. Now under the purchase, I'm adding vendor for this product. I'll add Abigail. And adding a price. Okay. So this is done. 
Now let's save it. Okay, the product is saved. Now, as I said before, you have to enable certain things and only then those things will come under the configuration. That is the product category configuration form, right? For that, I'm going to the inventory module. And you can see, I'll open the configuration settings. Okay, so here you have the product packaging. You have to enable that. And also under the warehouses, you have the multi-step routes. So only after you enable these things, the uh, field which I showed right before will come. So now we have added one more thing, which is the product packaging. So let's see what's the change that has come inside the uh, product category configuration. So I'll just refresh it. Okay, now let's open the purchase module and go to the product category there. Configuration, product category. And I'll open the book which I created. Here you can see one more thing has come which is the reserve packagings. So you have two options which is to reserve only full packagings and also reserve partial packaging. That is you have you have an option to reserve the packaging. So packaging, uh, there are two types which is fully packed ones and the partial packaging. So if you want to reserve partial packaging, you have to enable this. And for reserving only full packagings, then you have to enable this. So this is the additional thing which comes here when you uh, enable the product packaging. Okay, then inside the route also you have the option to add the routes which are already there so you can just add the routes for this category okay how many you you can add multiple routes inside this okay so let's save it okay if you go to products filter it Based on products. Let's create a new one. Okay. Only then the count will change. So. Click on create. Order book. I think the last one was not saved. Giving the storable and all. Changing the sales price also. Cost also. Adding a vendor and also the price corresponding to the vendor. Okay, now I'll save it. Before that, you have to make sure that the product category is all saleable book itself. Go back. You can see the product which is under the all saleable book. Okay, so here you can see the count have changed from 0 to 1. Okay. Now let's do one thing. Let's create a purchase order for this product. Create. So I've added the vendor as Abigail. Right? Okay. So I'm adding the product which is Odo Book. Okay. So once I've added the product, you can see the unit price and all has come. So you can see two order books, one which we created right now and the one which was created before. So if you choose this, you can see the unit price as 80 and you can see the unit price is 50 here. So this was the one which we created uh, last. Okay, so I'll confirm the order. Receive products and then let's validate it. Apply. Okay. So I'm creating the bill for this product. Okay. So confirming it. Okay. Confirm the bill. Register payment. Create payment. 
okay so the process is completed now so what we did now is how we uh, configure a product category and how we insert a product inside that category and also certain other fields which only will be visible when you enable certain features inside the inventory so that's how you configure a product category i hope it's clear for you all thank you so much for watching see you in the next video